Hello, this is Peter. Welcome to a uh, Divi Engine tutorial for our Ajax filters. On this one, I'm going to be going to be talking about our, ca our categories. And in this example, we'll show you how to, all the different options for displaying your categories in the filter, as well as conditional categories. So when you click on clothing, it'll show you all the clothing categories. If I click on decor, for example, that'll go away because there are no children of the decor category. However, when I click on clothing, it'll then display all the clothing and then at that point I can filter the accessories. Okay let's jump in. So in the theme builder we want to go to the uh, module and here I have two set up parents and child. So first I'll just show you the con... well first of all I'll show you all the category settings okay. So in here we want to go to you know product category and then go down to this cat... sorry I'll just show that you know a bit better. I've given it an admin name called, called parent category. I want to filter or search category. My post type is products in this case and I've chosen a checkbox radio. So got onto the category filter options and in here there's a list of things you can display. So by default it'll be all categories and subcategories. So this will display everything. The subcategories will have a prefix and you can also collapsible subcategories. Uh, I can choose to only show parent categories which is what I have on this one over here. I can choose to show only subcategories of a selected category. So for example I can show only the subcategories sorry not that, clothing. Uh, I can show, I can make it so you can only show the subcategories of the parent category clothing, for example. Or you can make it sh show the current categories that the current template is in. So if it's on a if you designing this on a category template, it'll then pick up the categories automatically without you having to specify it. So I'm just gonna show you. I'll just add another one in here. Um, so category products, I'm going to do it as a checkbox radio filter again. In here I'm going to say, okay, actually I only want to show the subcategories of clothing. And then I also want to do another one here. I haven't given it a name, so it'll say new filter, but I just want to show you um, products, checkbox clothing, and here I want to go to um, sorry, not checkbox, uh, category. And here I want to say all categories, and you'll see this prefix. I just want it to be a dash. Okay, so let's take a look at how this displays. So you can see in this one, we've only shown the categories of the parent clothing. You see the title categories, you can change that. And here we're showing all the categories including the child ones and as you can see it's the child the subcategories are uh, have this prefix so if you want to change the the name here yeah, we can go to show label we can say okay clothing so this is the one I'll show you now so I just want to change the label of this one here so you can see it now it says clothing so that's how you can you know, mix up on the way you display your categories. Now what happens if you have, you want to show categories conditional, a bit like we have over here, where if you click on clothing, it'll then show another separate one below based on the selection above. So the way you do it is you add two filters. The first one we're going to call parent category. This is just a name, you can call it what you want. In the category filter, select only parent categories. In the conditional logic settings, set the parent ID or set the logic ID as whatever you want. Make sure it's lowercase, no capitals. So I've set it as parent underscore cat and named it as parent category. Done. The second one, which is the one you want to you want to update based on the selection, I've called this child category. In the conditional logic settings, I've enabled it. I've done the relation as all. You want it to be all. 
Then in the rules, you want it to be parent category does not equal. Parent category is not empty. So basically what we're saying is if the parent cat category does not equal the selection and the parent category is not empty, then don't show. So we save that, um, update it, save the page, and then you'll see what happens now. I'm just going to reload the page. And then you'll see that when you click on clothing, it'll then update with the clothing subcategories. And I've also added one for music as a test. So if you click on music, for example, it'll then update with the music subcategories. And then I can click on test, and it should pick up one product. There we go. Or if I click on clothing, and I want to say, OK, I want to see other hoodies, it then should pick up all the hoodies. And then if I want to say all, it'll then remove all those subcategories because there are no child categories of all, or decor the same, would be the same case. However, clothing, it'll then show the subcategories of clothing and then the accessories. So that's another really great way to improve the user experience um, of uh, displaying your categories. So I hope this has been helpful and have a great day.